In this tutorial in CyberLink Power Director, we're going to give you some tips on how to create a square video output. This is often used in the Facebook world. Now, a square video is one where the width and the height are identical. It's usually referred to as a one to one ratio. First of all, I'd like to show you how to begin to edit something that will look approximately like a one to one. I have a video clip here of this Jeep on the beach. We'll take it and drag it down to track number one. And right now it's a 16 by nine ratio clip. And it looks very good, but what we need to do is get something closer to a one to one. Now we don't have a ratio on our screen that's precisely that, but the closest we have, if we move up to the top, we can change the project aspect ratio to four by three. Now that will get us close. So that's what we're going to have to settle for. I'm making sure that we don't edit a lot on either the right or left edge in order to make it uh, fit when we actually produce the video. And as in many cases, what we're going to have to do is resize our project to cover the window. And so let's assume that we have added all kinds of clips sound effects, audio, pictures, whatever we want, and we've edited our entire video in this 4x3 format. The next step we have is we have to produce it and output it on a one-to-one -one scale. So we click on Produce at the very top. When we do that, we have all these options. I'm going to work in the H.264 AVC MP4 file extension option. And when I click on the down arrow of my profiles, the built-in ones, I don't see any of them here where the height and width are identical. So what I'm going to have to do is create my own. In order to create my own custom profile, I click on the plus button uh, next to the options and it says create a new profile and I'll do that. And now I'm going to give this a name. Let's call this square. And if I want a description, I can simply call it. The other thing I need to change is on the video tab at the, at the, in the setup at the very top. And we need a resolution. Now, once again, I don't find a default one in CyberLink, even in version 16, where the, the numbers are identical. So I'm going to pick one close. I'm going to say 1440 by 1080 and then I'll click on OK. Now I have just created a brand new 2K file that, that has the attributes of square. If you've done this for other videos, this will be added to that file. But right now that's the one that I have since I have no other custom files. Now if I were to go ahead and click on start and output a video, I'd have a problem. And the problem would be this, that the outputted video would not exactly be square. It would be defined by this custom, which isn't quite a one to one ratio. Let me show you how to change that. Now, the step I'm going to show you is something you only need to do once on your copy of PowerDirector on any given machine. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop out of the program completely. Uh, we'll close the program and save the changes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my File Explorer in Windows. I'm going to go to my directory where my program is loaded. It's usually the directory that Windows is loaded in. So I'm on my C drive here in my particular system. I'm going to show you how to navigate to the file that you need to change, the one that we just created that has our square attributes on it. So you need to go in your Windows system to users and then yours will be different than mine. Mine simply says Jim here, but whatever directory is the one that you normally work out of in your Windows system. And then after that, you need to go to a file called app data. But the problem is you most likely won't see app data because it's a hidden folder. In order to see it, you need to click on the View tab at the top and then check the box that says Hidden Items. 
and now I can see the hidden folder called App Data. I'll navigate to that, and the next place you go is the one called Roaming. And when you're done with Roaming, you move deeper and you go to Cyberlink, and then you go to the Power Director subdirectory under that, and then you take your version of Power Director, mine 16. And then you go to User Configure. So this is where you find the folder you're looking for. This item here will be different on your system, but all the rest of these in these subfolders will be what you want. And then you are going to take the, the file called Profile, and you're going to edit it. Now, a safe thing to do is to copy it first. I'm going to right-click on it. And I can do Control C to copy, or I can click Copy in my drop down menu. Then I can right click and I can choose Paste, and I just created a backup copy. That's a safe way to go. Now I'm going to go in the Profile file and edit it. To do that, I highlight it, I right click on it, and I choose Open With, and I can either use Notepad or WordPad. I'm going to pick Notepad. Now, don't be uh, alarmed at all the information you have in here. The important thing is I have this item called Square that's defined here. Now, if you have other custom formats that you've defined, you may have more items. You have to search for the one that says Square. And then behind it, it gives all this important information. The ones we're looking for are Video Width and Video Height. And right now, my video width is 1440 and my height is 1080. That's the closest I could get. But now I'm going to change this manually to change that to 1080. So now I have a 1080 by 1080. I click on the file and I click on Save. And now it should be uh, 1080s. So now this will control the settings of my custom output. So having done that, I'm going to go ahead and reload my copy of PowerDirector. I, oh, by the way, you probably want to uncheck the Hidden Items box and before you closed your Fire or minimize your File Explorer window. Now I'm back from File Explorer into PowerDirector, and I've reloaded my project. So what I want to do now is go to Produce. And in the Produce window, I am make sure I'm on my square, which I modified a few moments ago. And now I will go ahead and render that. I'll create my video. You choose the location where you want it to go. And let's call this file number 2. And click on Save. Then I'll go ahead and start the rendering. To double check it, I can click on Open File Location. I click on that. Here I have my file number two, the one I just did. I'll right click on it and I'll choose Properties. And then if I click on the Details tab at the top, you notice Length, okay, Frame Width, 1080 by 1080. We've done it. Okay, now from here on out, all you have to do is choose that square as your custom output. And uh, that copy of PowerDirector on that machine uh, will give you that option. And it will always give you a 1080 by 1080 or whatever matching numbers you happen to pick. Uh, we'll just click on OK there. But if I go ahead and click on it to view it, it does come out square. Uh, same proportion to height as to width. And so that's how you can produce a square movie in CyberLink PowerDirector.